Welcome back to another episode of Inside Franklin Athletics. I'm your host, John Shepard. Today, my co-host, he's no, back. No, the armor. Glad to be back. And today, we have two varsity uh, tennis players, Riley Wilkinson and Kennedy Urban. How you guys doing? Good. So, um, this is going to be a question for kind of both you guys. And with you guys being able to challenge um, any player, like, to get a spot, I think, is what you guys do, right? Um, just how does that kind of make you guys better as an entire team and, like, compete – yeah. Um, it pushes each player individually to make us better playing one against one another. Um, it gives us more practice for the start of the season because we play around 25 matches. So This is kind of a question for both of you. Um, you guys are both juniors. How um, You only have two seniors on your team. So how have you as juniors kind of had to step up in the leadership roles? So since we only have two seniors, we have to – well, both of us have to be – leaders in each of the groups so she's doubles I'm singles and we have like five people in each like group so we just have to lead each one yeah um Riley with your dad Stan he's a huge tennis guy how has he just pushed you through the years I know you probably started at a young age but how has he just pushed you to be as best as you can um so we hit around three hours a day probably and we just do a lot of training, like throwing footballs to um, a lot of footwork. And Th just throwing footballs? Yeah, How's that for help? serve. I didn't even know that. For talk to and serves. <laughs> Having a very experienced trainer that has been around the game of tennis for a while, how has he kind of like taught you throughout your high school career? He has um, made my serve better these past two years. He has made all my ground strokes a lot better. Um, because at the beginning of freshman year, I didn't even make it out of sectionals or anything. And I've increased every single time, and it's made me a lot better. So so you guys playing Terre Haute for the first time, I think, in high school. Um, and what, did you guys win all or lose one? Lost once. Lost once. One dubs. So just kind of like so far the schedule, I'd say, has been pretty easy other than them. Like going against the team that early in the year, like – how did you guys feel going into that match? Well, they were ranked, so we were a little nervous, and that was, like, one of our very first matches. I think it was our second one. Second, yeah. And it was a little nerve-wracking, but um, my girl was top four in state last year, so I was freaking out, but it was fine. I think everyone everyone did really well, actually. Yeah. Um, one dubs, it was just a tiebreaker, and by two points we lost. So. And I yeah. think they stacked the one doubles, yeah. didn't they? No. Did they not? I don't know. So, Riley, you're the number one, like, on the team, right? Like, you yes. – Yeah, okay. So, you play against the best girl on every team. So, how does, like – do you have, like, a kind of a chip on your shoulder, and how do you go into each match calm and not get nervous throughout, like, the matches? Uh, well, I just have to keep a composure no matter what. I mean, I get nervous every match. It doesn't matter who it's against. But um, I just start playing and just try to play the best of my ability. So with football, of course, like every day you go in like watching film and like scouting for a team and planning for a team. For tennis, like for you, Riley, do you kind of like every girl you play, a girl could be different, plays differently. Do you kind of play, like change how you play compared to the girl? Uh, yes. So if they hit harder, um, I just hit harder back. But if they're not as good, then I just hit high topspin like forehand, backhand, just to change it up or work on different things for sectionals and regionals. So from a team standpoint, what are some accomplishments you guys are trying to achieve this year? State. Yeah, I'm trying to go farther in state. Very blunt. And Good. just our team making it to state this yeah. year. Because we lost last year in semi-state. And the only reason why we did was stacking. So, And they said that. I think that's really the only accomplishment you guys haven't gotten, isn't it? Because uh, yes, yeah. yeah. what you made it to semi state last year, yeah, and had well, you guys went undefeated during the season, so I'm guessing. Mm, did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, we did. Okay. What would you guys say? One thing other than playing the game of tennis, you guys have enjoyed the most out of your high school career so far. The friendships that yeah. tennis has made. I'm just all of us coming together. We have no drama. I mean, it's. Mm -hmm. For, for the most part, I mean, for the past three years, it's been, for the most part, I no think it's one of the only sports yeah. for girls 
And yeah, everyone just happen. always gets along. I mean, we have sleepovers. We, Team we yeah, it's really fun. So it's uh, both of your junior years, uh, and so you have some time left still. So um, do you have? But do you guys have any ideas on your future plans yet? With tennis or just in general? Just, just in general. Overall, mainly, it was mainly about like Riley tennis plans after high school. Kenny, I know you play volleyball mainly, but mm-hmm. um, I do want to play tennis in college. So I've just been talking to coaches and stuff, and so has Kennedy for volleyball. So. I got a, I got a, I don't know if this one's going to like hurt, but like losing last year to the girl that now is at Purdue and uh, it being your only loss in the season, how much did that motivate you to work harder in the off season? A lot. I'm the next day I was playing for three hours again. It just, it just made me realize that I need to work on a lot of things. <laughs> did she, would you say out of that match, you learned some new things and. Yes. I mean, she was really good i mean she got a full scholarship for purdue so i knew i wasn't gonna make it but Fair. <laughs> i mean <laughs> to be honest so <laughs> the every question we ask at the end routines game day routines do you guys have something you do the exact same before every single I'll let her match? Go. i have a really bad superstition with everything in the morning i have to have the same breakfast Which i is have to tell them what it is no i'm not saying it. no 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 you hey, have Chase, to tell do you us. think this is going to be worse than max's yeah. <laughs> i don't know I it, think, okay all right what's so, the breakfast <laughs> Morning, I have to go to Starbucks. I have to get a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew, a bacon gouda, and a cake pop. And then I have to have the same socks. I have to same socks. Same socks. Same socks. Like, you dirty. Same, like no, no, like same color. Same, yeah, same style and everything. Okay. Um. Sure. And then I have to. I can't say this part. But yep. Yep. No. Yeah. No, I can't. really can't. It's not. But um, <laughs> I have to put my bag in the same spot. What do you mean in the same spot? Like, I have to put it on a pole or I won't. Or wow. Like, like during the match? Yeah. And then I have to be on the side of the sports card. I have to wear this every single time I wear a match, but that's just because. I mean. Is this like against any team? Like, yeah. you are like. Every, no, to every no. single yeah, every match. Just like, to eat if a banana you, before like, the I match. Don't, I don't want to like downgrade on a team, but like. Decatur, for example, no, like I did you're that. going it, you're going into that. Like, if I don't do this, I'm gonna be tweaking. Yeah. Wow. I'm not even like. Hey, oh, do you like, have oh, Do you have any? I wake up not knowing we have a match until my mom texts me and she's like, "Good luck." That is dedication. Yeah. yeah um, or I'll just like eat ramen noodles. <laughs> like, do you ramen. warm up? Like, do you do the same warm up before every single match? Um, Riley does. She always asks me to go hit, and I'm just. Do like, you no. always train before a match? Oh yeah, she does. Personally, I so you're you like don't? you're no. like Serena Williams or whatever. Like, see what happens. <laughs> you're basically like Serena Williams, right? No, no, not, not yet. yet. Personally, not yet. I think I am. Mm. Yeah, she is. Not about all that. Will you guys play at Oldenburg again in sectionals, or uh, regionals, or semi-state, whatever uh, you play? I don't think so because yeah. it's going to be different this yeah, year. Yeah, I think it. I bet you guys won't. The revenge. route that we had last year was a lot easier. Than yeah, we're probably going to get this year. So I bet you want revenge on them though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that well, match, they got in trouble for stacking, so they How? won't do it this year. Um, yeah, so yeah. Well, what even stacking? is stacking? Stacking yeah. is when you put, like, your number one and number two singles at one dubs and put, like, JV players for one and two singles. Yeah, whatever that means. Or that you yep. put, like, your number one singles at number two singles. So making, like, your better players go to work. Like, say that someone that's supposed to play Riley but knows they can't beat Riley. They'll move her like to play like Chelsea or something. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. they did, and then they did that and for one doubles did that too, and two doubles. And oh. they took their wow, so they're just like oh, cheers. They, yeah, they, yeah. It's like the the flatry, it's bro. Damn, <laughs> it was um, really bad. No, actually, one last question though, uh, Kennedy doubles. How do you kind of just like? I know sometimes it's hard. Like you might hit a player in the back or something like that. But <laughs> how do you just? <laughs> communication and just make sure you guys are on the same page how does that like kind of work so me and Kate both play volleyball and I think that has helped our communication a lot and just communication is a big thing in doubles so you just kind of have to have it yeah that's fair thanks all right well we finished our first interview with two people and uh thank you guys for coming thanks Seth, for being back of course and that was another episode of inside franklin athletics